My name is Keith Brinsenhoff. I'm the manager of the Information Protection Platform team in Microsoft in the Identity and Access group. I'm really happy to be here today to, uh, to talk to you about some of the things, uh, some of the investments we're making in information protection. Um, it's, it's really such an ex exciting area to be involved with because we're seeing so many of our customers are coming to us and saying we have serious challenges associated with ensuring the protection of our information and at the same time we want to make sure that we're ensuring that our, our customers and our business partners and our vendors and our consultants and our employees are able to do the business uh, together and ensure that they have a natural flow of information and ensuring that you know you, the business is as productive and efficient as possible. So to balance those, those, uh, those two efforts of productivity and protection, Microsoft is making long-term investments in what we call the information protection platform. And the core piece of that is actually a product that we shipped se several years ago, a rights management services. The exciting uh, part about that is that when you begin with, with a platform like Rights Management Services, you're basically creating an infrastructure component that then uh, applications such as uh, Office 2003 could take advantage of to enable corporations and users within that corporation to set policy. They can set a policy around an email, say, that says this email cannot be forwarded. So that allows you to share that information with your, uh, with your uh, uh, um, uh, other business partner associated with that mail, but at the same time you're sure that, it's, that it doesn't go beyond that. The, the, exci the, the great part about that is that corporation can then feel that they can make the connections that they need to make, but ensuring what, they, what the future uses of that information, they can control that. And this is a challenge today because right now corporations have so many different ways that their employees are using information and accessing it, using it within the firewall with your laptops and your desktops, you have home users accessing it, and you have business partners. This kind of rich um, environment, what we call the digital workplace, uh, creates many challenges in terms of, of control. And so by being able to um, put the protection uh, directly associated with the information, uh, you're enabled to, to control to be very um, uh, easy to send around with the information rather than trying to ensure that the end user in the, uh, with their knowledge or capability it can ensure that the information is protected. So with that, uh, with that in mind, uh, you know, getting all the feedback we've got to our customers from the original um, uh, investments we've made in rights management services, there's some exciting new things that are going on with the Office 2007 wave. We have both uh, new um, uh, new capabilities within Office itself in terms of the user experience for protecting mails and documents. And, uh, but most importantly, I think, is the SharePoint 2007 uh, uh, investments where uh, 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 an admin can set up a library in such a way and set rules on that library so that any document that is placed in that library in the presence of the Rights Management Services uh, uh, system can then set rules that the individual who's accessing that information is able to, um, to able to not even think about whether a policy or a rule is associated with it. It just happens automatically. And this is a big step towards what our, our uh, long-term goal is, is to ensure that the corporations can ensure that the right policies and the right protections associated with those policies are enabled seamlessly for the user. And so as information travels throughout its life cycle and through the capabilities and the requirements of, of the corporation, that you end up having a protected and policy uh, is insured and audited as well throughout that cycle. Now, when I mentioned in the beginning we're the information protection platform, that means there's a very rich set of partners, everything from Office 2007 and SharePoint as we spoke, but a, a rich ecosystem of partners in the industry that's ensuring that uh, extending this platform and ensuring that the different elements of the information as they travel through the life cycle are protected. That's whether you're storing, accessing it, sharing that information, or archiving it and, and retrieving it. So uh, it's really interesting to be uh, able to talk about this today. Uh, I'm hoping you'll get a chance to take a look at our uh, Microsoft.com 
WAC IDA website, and you'll see how we're talking about how this part of information protection fits into a larger identity and access uh, approach, which really enables co corporations to begin thinking holistically about uh, the elements of identity, the elements of access control, the elements of information protection, and how this all fits together in as seamless a way as possible. So we really appreciate the chance to talk today, and I hope you do look at the site and take a chance to uh, learn more about information protection and Microsoft's approach in this area. Thank you very much.